Shovel and welcome to my channel. Today I'm playing some more Would You Rather. It's been a really long time since I played this game, so I decided it's time to play it again because I needed something to play. <laughs> the first Would You Rather that it asks is Skydive or Bungee Jump? I want to do both of these so bad, uh, but I'm going to pick Skydive on this one. I didn't even need to think about it. Uh, I don't trust anybody who measured the rope. Skydiving, sure, I'll trust you jumping out of a plane with my body. But, but, the, but punchy jump, God forbid the rope is the wrong length. There are a lot of things that can go wrong with both of these and I just didn't think about the other one at all. I could just not have a parachute. That's the thing that could also, oh. Only drink Starbucks coffee or only drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I'm from the East Coast. I love Dunkin' Donuts. And I like Starbucks, but normally if I go to Starbucks, I get the passion tea lemonade, which is so good. I don't get coffee there, but Dunkin' Donuts. I get the sweetest coffee they possibly have at that time. Clearly, I'm not your typical white girl. Would you rather eat a worm straight from the ground or snatch a fly out of the air and eat it alive? I think I'd rather, I'd rather eat a fly because I feel like that's probably happened so many times because they're flying around. You don't know, you're talking, your mouth's open, you're laughing. Things go in there, you're sleeping, things go in there. A worm from the ground, you end up eating a worm and dirt, which is just worm poop. So I'm gonna pass. Would you rather be stalked by a ghost for your entire life or be stalked by a demon for three days and then die? Okay, well one results in death and the other one's just kind of chill. Ghosts can be chill. They didn't say that it's like a, a malicious ghost or like a, like a poltergeist. It could just be like some old lady who's like, I'm just here. Make your apartment smell like cookies. Who would pick die? Would you rather Oh, eat only lima beans for the rest of your life, or be allowed to eat your favorite meal, but only three times a week. What? Oh no, I can only eat my favorite meal three times a week. I don't even eat my favorite meal once a year sometimes. <laughs> have to wear a full body red leotard on your wedding day, or have the person you're marrying that day wear the full body red leotard. So they don't say you can't put anything over it. I'm gonna make the man do it because I wanna have a nice dress with, with like strapless maybe and I gotta show my arms and if I'm wearing, well leotards don't even have sleeves so I could even get away with it. But I don't know what, what like the neckline of my, I'll make my, my hubby do it. That's what he's there for. He puts it on under his suit and then when the reception happens, he rips the suit off cause it's a rip away suit. Cause we planned for that. Would you rather live in a mansion in Beverly Hills or a penthouse in Manhattan? <gasps> These are two of the places that I live. Sort of, I don't live in Beverly Hills or Manhattan, never have. I'm from New Jersey and I live in California now. I don't know which I'd rather have. I think I'd rather have, oh, that's tough. Which one's rent is gonna cost more? I'm almost thinking penthouse in Manhattan to go away to and then just keep my little apartment in, in, in California that I have. Sure, let's go with that. I don't know, I don't know. I'm pretty torn on that one. Someone in the comments of this one said, Beverly Hills has dumb blondes and New York has classy women. What if I'm from both? What if I'm a dumb, classy woman boy? Would you rather always have a sore throat or live with no fingers on preferred hand? I wouldn't have a job if I had no fingers. I'm gonna say that my right hand's my preferred hand. Although WASD is on the lefty. I'd say I always have a sore throat. I feel like if I had a scratchy throat, I'd be super cute sounding even more and get on people's nerves even more. Would you rather be a character in Lord of the Rings or be a character in Harry Potter? Do I get to be any character? Cause I would want to be an elf if I was to be in Lord of the Rings or if I was to be in Harry Potter, I would want to be a wizard cause they don't say you could just end up being a muggle. That's life now. Lord of the Rings. Would you rather be able to travel at light speed or be able to read minds? Travel light speed. Reading minds would be a terrible experience. And I don't know if it's you read them all the time or just whenever you're choosing to read a person's mind, but that would be terrible. That would, I don't need to be in people's heads. God forbid anyone ever gets in my head. So I'm gonna pick travel at light speed because that'd be super cool. Would you be with the Flash? Does he travel at light speed? During a rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? Number one, why am I boxing? I think I'd rather lose my two front teeth because you could just get fake ones put in and you wouldn't know the difference. Little do you guys know, all my teeth are fake. That's not a real thing. Would you rather always have bad hair or always have bad teeth? Honestly, I already have bad teeth, so I compensate with the hairs. <laughs> Would you rather fart in front of your crush or get caught picking your nose by your crush? Hmm. I'll be honest, both of these are very normal things. Although I have never farted in front of a person and I never will. Picking my nose in front of a person? Also, I haven't done that. 
But I will be the first to admit, I pick my nose. I don't know about you guys, sometimes it's just the only way. Like, it's your only option and you just... If it... If you say that you don't, you're lying. If you were forced to eat a certain way, would you rather eat soup for every meal with only your face? Or stab your tongue with a fork every time you ate? Eat soup with my face. Who needs spoons? Who uses spoons when they're eating soup anyway? Would you rather work recycling human poop for the rest of your life or work with dangerous and explosive chemicals for the rest of your life? Dangerous and explosive chemicals. If I'm going out, I'm going out with a bang. Would you rather save the world but nobody knows or save the world but die as a hero in the process? Ooh, and everyone would know. But I would be dead. That's a tough one. It'd be really easy to just say save the world and nobody knows. But that... But you would know. And the world would be safe. And you'd be alive. And that'd be fine. And then life would be normal. That'd be cool. Or you save the world and you die a hero. And that's how you go down in history. As a hero. Whereas the other one, you might just go down as nobody. But you saved the world. And you got to live a life that was probably worth living anyway. I'm picking that one. I got very deep for a minute. Would you rather spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine or spend a year alone in a space station? Space station, space, space, space. Cool things happen in space. Ocean, nothing cool ever happens in the ocean. It's all dark. You don't even see anything. There's just fish and it's dark. Space, also dark, but cool. Would you rather shrink to one inch or grow to three stories? Three stories, that's tall. I'm trying to think. I live on the second floor. I think I'd rather shrink to an inch. And then I could actually be in, your, in people's pockets and just, just chill. In people's pockets and be a little pocket shovel. And I could get up to little bad things as a one inch. What do you do when you're one inch? That's this big. That's not even... Like, I'd get lost in the pocket. That's how small that is. But, dude, tiny videos... Tiny camera. Tiny set. Save a lot on rent. Don't even need an apartment. Would you rather have your name known forever for something terrible or never be recognized for accomplishing something wonderful? Which would mean I accomplished something wonderful, but would never be recognized for it. Hmm. That, go that goes, that's pretty similar to the last one. I would not want to be known for something terrible. I would be hated. That would be a terrible experience. I would rather just be a normal person all the time. Would you rather have free tickets to the Super Bowl for life or get $20,000 to never watch NFL games again? $20,000. That's a one lump sum to never watch football that I already don't watch. Would you rather have to use a completely blank keyboard with absolutely no labeled keys or have to type with only your two index fingers all the time? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a blank keyboard because I don't look at the keyboard when I'm typing anyway. If you learn typing, I took I had to take typing class in school because this was computers were a very new things, so they had to teach us how to type on them. Uh, and now I know how to type without having to look down because that's what they teach you, so that you you're just going. I just formed an entire novel. I think I actually just crashed the browser. <laughs> if you could only eat one and never eat the other, would you rather eat waffles or eat pancakes? I had a poll on Twitter asking whether you preferred pancakes or waffles. This is a huge debate. I am on the side of pancakes. I love pancakes. I love pancakes. I love pancakes. I think pancakes are better than waffles. Uh, many people disagreed, but more people agreed that pancakes are better. Maybe because I said I like pancakes and they wanted to agree with me. Not really sure. It doesn't matter. I won. So I'm going to go ahead and say eat pancakes. I just like they're fluffy. They're fluffy. I know. I know that syrup can be put in the little cubes and then you have like nice waffle with a little filled cup of syrup for every bite. But pancakes. I love them. Would you rather have the voice of the opposite sex or have the muscle mass body build of the opposite sex? Can you imagine me sounding like a dude? That would be the weirdest thing. All right, that's going to be all the would you rather that I do today. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed watching. Tell me down in the comments if you're on Team Waffle or Team Pancake. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!